Do I have any fans of Guardians of the Galaxy out there? Just raise your hand. Uh, I am as well. Uh, and the news today is that all of the cast stands behind the director, James Gunn, who has pretty much been assassinated on social media, which led to his firing for a bunch of really offensive tweets that he just laid bare to the world between the years 2008 and 2011. And yes, the internet will, if they can, go back 10 years and scoop up any dirt that they have on you as is the lesson that James Gunn has learned. So Guardians of the Galaxy fans have decided in their best way to become Guardians of James Gunn. And that is what I'm going to talk about today. Somehow, in their minds, they have decided that they want to stick up for James, James Gunn. Um, Chris Pratt, who posted on his Instagram today and got all of the signatures of most of the cast, started off his letter by saying, we fully support James Gunn. We were shocked by his abrupt firing last week and have intentionally waited these 10 days. They waited 10 whole days before deciding that they wanted to come out together and support. Um, I really didn't talk about this when it first came out because I really didn't want to get into it. But it's interesting that the, the cast here is actually, it's not surprising because this is Hollywood and Hollywood will support support um, the people that have helped them to come along. So it's not surprising that James Gunn is being supported. Now, he does say, Chris Pratt, in this letter, and I'm guessing they all co-signed in this, they said, we are not here to defend his jokes of many years ago, but rather to share our experience, having spent many years together on set making Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2. So basically, they're trying to speak to his character currently, which in today's environment, everyone's character currently is fly straight and narrow, don't make offensive jokes because you might get assassinated. So it's not that hard to say, oh, he's doing great, because if he doesn't, he's definitely not going to get a job. But 10 years ago, it was definitely a different environment. If I think you'd all agree with me with that. And then I do like the way Chris Pratt and the, and the cast ends this. He says, it is our hope that what has transpired can serve as an example for all of us to realize the enormous responsibility we have to ourselves and to each other regarding the use of our written words, which we etch um, when we etch them in digital stone, that we as a society may learn from this experience and in the future we'll think twice before we decide what we want to express. And in so learning, perhaps can harness this capability to help and heal instead of hurting each other. And then he says, thank you for taking the time to read these words. And I, I get it, I get it. You want to support James Gunn, you want him to be reinstated for to, to be the director of Guardians of the Galaxy 3, but that's where I got to put the brakes on. Because look, James Gunn and all of his magnificence as a director, he made these tweets for a reason and the reason was to was to push his career forward was to propel his career forward he even wrote in his apology many people who have followed my career know when i started i viewed myself as a provo provocateur <laughs> making movies and telling jokes that were outrageous and taboo. And there are many, many men and some women in Hollywood that have propelled their careers forward by making really outrageous jokes, really, and, and the jokes of this mad, of this magnitude. I mean, he talks about child molestation, things that you, you, you just would never put together with children in the same sentence. So they're pretty ridiculous, pretty disgusting, heinous uh, tweets. Um, he's even talked about the gay and lesbian community, which he apologized for back in 2012. So he has a history of this. Um, and then he says, as I've discussed publicly many times, as, as I've developed as a person, so has my work and my humor. And I, I'm not buying it. He says as he's developed, no, I believe it's as the environment around him has changed, as people like the Harvey Weinsteins and, and, and so forth begin to fall um, from the main screen and from the main attention. Everyone's really like, oh crap, I better not say something. But you best believe that what they're not saying, they're definitely saying behind closed doors, hoping that there are no microphones or cameras recording them saying, grab them by the P-U-S-S-Y on a bus. So, James Gunn, I'm sorry, I don't think he should get his job back. I believe that this should be his punishment. Look, Guardians of the Galaxy is a project in the daily work of a director of a movie, and he doesn't get to work on this project. I'm sure he'll get plenty of other chances to work on other projects, but this has to go against his record. I'm sorry, but if you're an employee and someone finds something like this, you talking about this, I am pretty sure they're going to dock you either some pay or some work. So the same thing should happen to Guardians of the Galaxy director James Gunn. Let me know what your thoughts are on this, though. I mean, to me, it's, it's a no-brainer. He has to pay the prices for this one. I, I, I don't understand why um, the Guardians are guarding him in this case. I, I agree with their letter. This is definitely a learning example. And this should be a learning example for everyone. Look, don't write stuff 
that is going to come back to bite you in the butt. You can think whatever you want to think. This is a free world. But believe me, if people want to dig up dirt on you, they're going to dig up dirt on you. So best to just make sure that you say it in the comfort of your little home with people that you trust. It's free. It's freedom of speech, really. But when it comes down to it, the public will mob you. They will crucify you the moment they get a chance to. And that's what happened here. And I'm sorry, James Gunn, but you don't have any ground to stand on. So that's all I've got for you all today. Let me know what you think about this story, and I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you, and peace out.